Sean, that looked like a really satisfying night. Uh, was it for you? Um, I think in, in many ways, yeah. I think the um, first thing is the performance level. I thought, you know, without really um, opening too much in the first half, I thought it was a very solid performance and we were asking questions. Second half, a little bit more freedom came into the play, particularly in the top third, which is what I spoke to about at half-time, and I'm pleased I delivered that. It was good, three goals on another day, could have had maybe another, um, maybe another couple of things. Beto has a great chance and from a great cross. So, yeah, overall pleasing. Um, you know, a lot of noise about our start, but I think, you know, it showed we still have got a group that are alive here and some good players. Just how pleased were you with Villabin and Dai, second half in particular, when they had that freedom? Showed some real magic. Yeah, we put him wide because I think that's a good position for him and he's shown that since he's been here. Um, and I've spoken recently about the development of these players. You know, you could see tonight, you know, for, for Jasper, it's a different thing. You know, learning about the, the realities of what the league offers at this level. You know, the Premier League is, with all due respect, to Doncaster, by the way, because I love their staff and I like what they do there and they were close last season. Um, you know, there's a step to go. And I think he's developing into that. He's learning about it through the training programme, through these, these, these games, when we can get games. Um, Jake as well, you know, the, the, you know, learning about the nuts and bolts here and then at the stadium as well, of course, in front of the fans. So it's all part of their, their learning about whatever the football club is. So I was pleased for them. And also some of the players who have come in and, and done well uh, tonight because Jimmy Garner and Seamus haven't had much training at all. You know, for them to come in and play well and, and put themselves out there has been, has been different class because it's important we, we rebuild the squad in its fitness and make sure we get as many bodies out there. And they've done really well tonight to get through that and hopefully come through unscathed. Um, you spoke at the weekend of the importance of laying down markers. Did any of those new players do that today? Going into the yeah, weekend? I mean, uh, look, I think, you know, we want all of the group to lay down markers, you know, and, and it's not just about new players. It's about every player. Can they keep re-evolving, if you like, you know, for the, the next challenge? And that's what we've had to do, as you well know, many times, you know, if challenges come, we have to go again and go again and go again. And there's another challenge at the moment. So that's a mini step forward the reason why it's only a mini step forward because it's a cup competition the league's the be all and end all we all know that so our next step is to go in into Saturday and deliver a performance that can win on Saturday and just finally last few days of the transfer market being linked heavily with Oral Mangala tonight anything you can say on that? Well I can say that we've been linked heavily with about 100 players um, so uh, you know as far as I know at this stage unlikely that anything changes but we'll see Thank you very much Sure, a lot of Premier League managers might use a league cup at this stage to sort of you know, play a weakened team or, you know, give young kids a chance. Was that never, that thought, you know, you could put a stronger team out there, could you? Was that never part of your um, process? Well, we had four new players out there. Yeah. Um, you know, Tim's slightly different. He's been through us three pre-season. But even for Tim, I think he's doing absolutely different class. You know, I think his equivalent minutes in the Premier League were about two games last season. So to be having a full pre-season and doing what he's doing, I'm really pleased with that. Um, Harrison gets some minutes as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there, there's signs of the group, you know, the collective group, um, and that's what we need to do. We need to be a group and we need to be a, a, an adjoined group for the challenge that comes our way. Possibly. We're waiting. Um, it was just a, a risk or reward scenario. There's possibly something going to happen, but we're waiting on that. But it was just what M where we thought well, common sense prevails. I don't I don't think I need to mention anything other than the fans have mentioned. So the fans, it seems to me, from what I gather and I've kept my eye on it, have rallied round and said they feel it's unacceptable. So there's enough fans in this stadium and there's enough fans across the world and across England for Everton. And if they say it's unacceptable, then they know more about it than me. So I'm happy with the fact that they've gone, no, there's a certain line. We think some people have crossed it. It is only some don't forget. You know, that's frustration can lead to all sorts of situations. So, but the, the, the masses of fans who, who seem to have got involved in that moment have actually said, no, that's too far. So they've dealt with it. It doesn't need me to deal with it. Okay. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Cheers.